Hardik and Love are two best friends watching TV in the house that they share with Bunny, another of their friends. Bunny chastises his two friends for living too freely and not paying the bills. Hardik and Love just laugh it off. The lights go off and then come back on after a while to reveal Bunny's face covered in all sorts of dirt after falling in the dark. They go off to work the next day, but Hardik and Love, whose work cubicles are next to one another, are instead browsing through social media looking for future dates. They take a break in the bathroom, and Love informs Hardik that he is quitting living a reckless life and becoming faithful to his girlfriend. Hardik thinks this is preposterous of him. Later that evening, Love gets home and cleans up, throwing away his beer bottles and weed and cleaning his room in anticipation of proposing to his girlfriend. Hardik, on the other hand, is still at the office, seducing his boss's assistant. He rushes out to buy protection, but when he comes back, she has changed her mind. But their boss comes back, and Hardik, in an attempt to flee and not to be found, jumps off the building shirtless. His boss swears to find him the next day and fire him. He comes home and rips the clean house apart, looking for weed, until he finds it. When Love refuses a puff because he has cleaned up, he gives him the middle finger. Love then goes on a date with his girlfriend and tells her how he has changed his life and given up drugs. He's also bought an engagement ring to later propose to her. However, he keeps noticing a man staring at them from another table. He asks his girlfriend, but she tells him to ignore him. Troubled, he confronts the guy, and they get into a fight. His girlfriend separates him and chastises the other guy, revealing that she knew him. Love leaves without giving her the engagement ring. He goes back home and starts drinking again with Hardik. Hardik is just happy to get his friend back. Bunny comes home with the news of being awarded a free vacation to Goa because he did a good job at his presentation. The other two friends decide to tag along. As they are enjoying themselves in the hotel, Hardik and Love get into the pool while smoking weed. Hardik pranks Love by diving into the water and stealing his pants before disappearing. Luna, a beautiful girl, is the one who rescues him by bringing him his shorts back. They talk a little, and she invites him to a rave party going on in Goa, organized by the Russian Mafia. He readily agrees to come. They come to Goa, all three of them, but they are late, and the ferry has already left. They trade Bunny's car for a boat, and a wild party is going on while they get to the island. Love finds Luna, and they get to dance. Hardik finds some revelers who laugh at his name, which means hard dick to them. Hard what? Dick. Dick. Really? <laughs> Always. Bunny gets lucky with a one-night stand from a reveler, while Luna refuses Love's approach due to her not wanting to be used after his breakup with his former girlfriend. She leaves him hanging. As the party goes on, drinks and drugs are distributed freely. One of the new drug which is just launched now started to turn people into zombies, but the duo didn't have enough money to afford the new drug. The next day, Hardik wakes up wasted on the beach. Love finds him and they go look for Bunny. Bunny is opening his heart to his last night's girl, whom he doesn't know has turned into a zombie. Hardik and Love find him when he is trying to get away from her. As they are heading back, they run into a Russian dude with a machete. He threatens them at first when he thinks they are zombies. However, after running into zombies himself, he gets done in, and that is when the trio wakes up to the reality of zombies on the island. Love decides to go find Luna, who told him last night that she was spending her time with her friends. Hardik and Bunny complain about this, but instead follow him. They reach the place, but there is hardly anyone there, with blood splattered on the floor and furniture disarranged. They find a hidden Luna, and Hardik is smitten by her beauty. They decide to leave the place, but in the forest, they are ambushed by Luna's former friends, now turned zombies. The three men get into a fight with the three zombies and nearly lose. Boris, a Russian Mafia member who has made a hobby of eliminating zombies, saves them. He first checks them thoroughly to see if they haven't been infected. They form a team and traverse the island together. He lends the boys some guns, but they waste them by shooting only one zombie, and he is super pissed with them. The boys inform him that they have a boat, and he sends them to get it while they go find diesel and oil. 
When the four of them arrive at the beach, they discover the boat gone, with Hardik's last night's girl now a zombie on it. Hardik does not dare to throw his former girlfriend out of the boat, so the boat floats away. Boris arrives with a car that will provide them with fuel, but they tell him the story of how Hardik didn't care to kill his zombie girlfriend. They find a safe house and spend the night there. Hardik is almost killed when he tells the story of sleeping with his zombie girlfriend. Boris and his goon leave to go find fuel, leaving the three men behind with Luna. Love makes his move on Luna, but is rejected. Hardik follows, but is also rejected. Zombies attack their houses, and the group flees outside to a shed. When cornered on either side, they rush through the horde of dumb zombies to escape. They traverse the woods again to go to the site of last night's party, looking to find Boris. The place is devastated. They split up to look for clues, but were then swarmed by zombies that broke them apart. As they try to fend off the zombies, Bunny is seemingly devoured and falling into a tent full of zombies. Boris arrives to save them, but in the ensuing chaos, Nikolai is bitten. They leave him on the road with a bottle of vodka so he can drink his last minutes in peace. They return to the beach to wait for the boat. As Love and Hardik mourn their friend Bunny, Hardik receives a call from Bunny, and the duo rush off to save him. Luna convinces Boris to follow them, and they find Bunny stranded on top of a tower with zombies coming at him from below. Hardik climbs up and reaches him, and then convinces him to jump from there. They jump and manage to land safely. Boris holds the zombies off as the four others escape. They get to the truck, and Bunny recounts how he had managed to escape by accidentally using cocaine to immobilize the zombies in the tent before getting away. They grab hold of Boris's cocaine-stashed bag and rush to him. They throw the bags at him and encourage him to shoot them. He is reluctant, but shoots them, and the whole horde of zombies stops moving towards him after being splashed by the powder. He makes his way through the horde safely, but before they return to the car, Nikolai now faces a zombie attack from his high place in the tower. Luna throws Boris a grenade launcher, which he then uses to end the buff zombie by sending him exploding into the air. They return to the beach, and the waters have returned their boat to them. However, the zombie Ariana is still there. Hardik baits her out into the woods as the others get on the boat. After playing a romantic cat and mouse with her in the woods, he circles back and gets into the boat with the others, leaving her on the beach without killing her. It is how the two lovers say their goodbyes. When they cross the river and arrive on the other side, they discover the entire town destroyed with hordes of zombies taking over. They prepare to fight again and the thrilling film comes to an end. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.